Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, got some exciting news. Basically, every single hypercharge has been confirmed before the update, which should be in around two or three weeks time, which is kind of crazy. I'm not 100% sure on like Frank, for example, but we literally have five of the hypercharges within this exact video. So I'll leave a link to it. If you don't know, it's the new community event, which is happening. Essentially, well, we'll watch it, but all you have to do is spam the thumbs up pin and the more pins that we put out, the more rewards we will get, which is pretty cool. I love it when we do these types of things. So straight away, I will pause it. And as you can see, it's literally... It's clear as day. They clearly want us to see the Piper Hypercharge. We do this a lot throughout the community event videos. And look at it, it's literally even got the, um, it's got it fully charged, right? So they want us to see that quite clearly in the first 14 seconds, Piper is getting a Hypercharge. So that's actually gonna be a little bit of a weird one because the Hypercharges always revolve around the Piper, well, the Brawler Super, right? But Piper Super, I don't know, it's used defensively most of the time. So I don't know whether it'd be as exciting, but at least she's gonna get a stat boost. So. Again, we'll go through the video. I can leave a link in the description. If you guys actually want to watch it, but it's, it's actually quite hilarious. So the next point I wanted to get through. So this is very important. I'm probably going to have to keep rewinding it because there's actually multiple brawlers within this segment right here. So we'll go to the playback speed of 0.25 and we'll try and pause it at the right opportunity. So let's just mute so we don't hear any of the weird voices. But there's actually three brawlers that have a hype charge here. So the first one is literally right here on your screen, Barley. This was actually shown in a previous uh, brawl talk as well but as clear as day you can see the hypercharge uh, icon right there barley's clearly going to get a hypercharge and then you also see over the top left you also see it a little bit further on in the video that angelo is getting a hypercharge so angelo's just been released and again another brawler where the super is pretty defensive like piper but i guess it could change that in a few ways again we can kind of highlight that and there's actually another brawler which i think we missed because you literally blink and you miss it it's incredibly hard to get the right frame so we're gonna have to pause this drama there we go so i'll actually try and zoom in for you guys so you can see it but literally right at the top can you guys see that little icon right there where the mouse is i don't know you can't even see the mouse on your screen for whatever reason but essentially i'll highlight it right at the top there you can see m's with a hypercharge which is kind of crazy again like you can see m starting to come to the picture here here we go you can see it a little bit clearer there that's probably the clearest you can see it m's with the hypercharge so again it's going to be pretty interesting that m's hypercharge is just fixed no matter what it's just a circle around her pretty boring super to be honest but there is that so from what we can tell we we'll rewind it one more time so we've got a barley hypercharge right there and then we've got m's coming in at the top and then when it zooms in you can clearly see the angelos to the left so that's literally four hypercharged brawlers already in the first 40 seconds of a community event video which is just kind of crazy to me again we'll go into what i think the hypercharges could be there's a few things on reddit that people have been discussing and there's only one more hypercharge in this video then another one is in another video that we've seen previously so again it's just a bunch of stuff about the community event uh which is pretty cool we've seen that angelo as well well let me just reverse it just in case you guys are unaware about the angelo hypercharge there it's literally there again like it's literally it couldn't be any clearer for you guys it's literally right there for you to see so if you're unsure on how to select the pin it's right there <laughs> instead of a thumbs down use the thumbs up instead and then another one is coming up pretty shortly which is really hard to see i don't even know how someone spotted this because it's literally again like a split second you guys must have the best eyesight ever i have to use glasses so i can't really see that in the first time so we can see it here in a second i think it's as oh there we go i literally paused it at the right time i was trying to do this before the video and i couldn't actually do it in time but you can literally see it again gale with the hypercharge right next to the shelly with the hypercharge so uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. We didn't see the hypercharge fully loaded up like Piper. We didn't see like the hypercharge super effect. But you can cl clearly see it bright as day. Gale is getting a hypercharge as well. So we'll just go through the rest of this community video and then show you guys some good examples of what the hypercharges could mean in the future. But it's really cool. I like these events. Double star drops, mastery madness. They're the probably things I'm most excited about. Legendary star drops are cool. But I just love double star drops and mastery madness. Of course, getting your masteries as quickly as possible who doesn't love that i kind of wish they bumped up the mastery cap as well when they did this but at least it means i can go on my mini account and just get uh you know mastery rewards much easier also there's a chance to get 1 million gems 10 people on social media can post a video of them pr uh, pressing the thumbs up pin 
and probably like some cool play around it as well and 10 winners will be chosen 1 million gems each i believe and you can actually share it with your friends so technically you have even more chance of winning if your friends want to be nice because a million gems is probably too much you probably need like not even 100,000 but you get what I mean million is just overkill so the event starts right now and you guys need to spam the thumbs up pin as much as possible and the last hype charge I want to show you guys was already well known through the last community event they did like a month ago or so with the buzz hypercharge skin so you can see here in the video if we pause it at the right time we'll clearly see a frank hypercharge icon on the left hand side so I'm not 100% sure on this, even though you can clearly see the hype charge is being charged already, the hype charge super on the left. But at the same time, I, I don't know, I'm not 100% about it because it wasn't shown in this video, whereas there was five already, Piper, Angelo, Barley, Gale and Ems, whilst Frank was only shown in this bit. And we know that Frank is getting a rework, so maybe, I mean, it would make sense for him to add a hype charge and a rework, but that might be overkill, you get what I mean, but that's definitely going to be an option. So now let's jump into some hypercharge ideas, and funnily enough, Pineapple did a hypercharge idea for every single one of these brawlers it's set for one so literally the goat himself i'll leave a link to his channel in the description because he put so much time and effort into these so again go out go out to his videos share him some love because literally some of these concepts might come to life because they're so good so the m's one m's super radius grows by 50 percent inside uh, per enemy inside and it removes hypercharge effects from all enemies within that is kind of an insane one i like that every single ruler their super will get bigger and bigger i think that completely makes sense with ems because imagine it with the hype star power for example you could just get more healing a lot more frequently maybe they could boost the damage or some kind of like adverse effect as well on top of her super maybe add to like a lingering poison effect or something like that i think removing the hypercharge effect from the enemies is probably a bit too strong and probably i don't know coding wise i don't think that would work in a game like brawl stars it probably take too much effort to code so is a really good example i didn't really see any other hypercharge ideas but i bet they'll be coming flying now that it's uh, been released in this video so again i'll probably revisit this in the future and then we've got a gale one so gale make it snow gale's super will leave behind a thick layer of snow that will slow down enemies who step on it the snow will melt after 15 seconds so this is actually another really good idea it is uh, an idea that I've never seen before, but it makes sense. You think of the snowy maps where the, I think it's on like 5v5. People didn't really like that environment, you know, and the slow. But just think about it, right? Gale Super actually isn't that good. It's only good with a stun star power. It's good for just pushing people back. But you know what I mean? It's not like broken, but this would actually make it pretty good. Like I wouldn't really want Gale's Super to just be wider. For example, it's already as wide as possible. I don't know what else I could really do with Gale. It's a little bit of a weird one. I'm not too kind of inventive with hype charges and stuff. But this is a good one. Again, pineapple with a goat with this one. And then he actually did a pipe one. So you can see on the screen, shrapnel popping. Piper's grenades randomly burst with shrapnels that deal 800 damage and slow down the enemies for three seconds. So I can actually really see this one coming into the game for sure. It's not as like a, an inventive idea as the Gale one, which is like super inventive. But this one does make sense with Piper because, again, I don't really want just more bombs or bigger explosion. I want kind of something extra on top of that with Piper. So maybe some shrapnel bursts would actually be pretty good. That would make sense. And again, like slowing the enemies down for three seconds. Literally, that's perfect. I feel like this should have like a couple of things with it because just having shrapnel, just having a slowdown just isn't enough. I mean, they could literally just make like piper drops like 12 bombs or something that would be hilarious because imagine a piper super on the high safe i mean a poor high safe but you get what i mean i also found this one hilarious from own mirror it literally just added a million different effects into one mandy el primo fang dynamite all into one like the popcorn <laughs> imagine that like uh, that'd be a funny version of Bruce. so again pineapple with another goated hypercharged concept so empowered swamp angelo super is 30 percent bigger and moves with him that would be really toxic. It's like a mini M super. That would be really cool though. The, the additional healing. The only like downside to Angelo's super is that he has to stand in the same spot. And uh, that's the only way he can heal up. But this means obviously he can just be a little bit more annoying. But he's going to be very toxic. Like imagine Angelo not receiving any like fruitful nerfs. And then he gets his hype charge on top of it. Because he has been like the best brawler. One of the best brawlers since his release. So imagine the hype charge and he's only like barely nerfed which i probably see to be honest so i think angelo would still be one of the best brawlers in the game even if they're nerfing because the hypercharge is coming into play so 
Next up, we have Barley's Hypercharge. So, another pineapple concept. This guy's absolutely goated. So, you can see Barley's Super throws three waves of fiery bottles in a much wider area. So, again, another one that completely may makes sense. I think it makes sense for Barley. I know it's just literally like a bigger and better Super in that sense. But I really like that for Barley. If you remember from the old days of Barley with his uh, Super, how it used to work, essentially, his Super used to stack in one spot so you could literally run onto the high safe or just anyone for example and you could just shred through them so quickly i can actually see them adding that hypercharge back so for example you throw out your super and all the damage is instant because it would actually allow them to defeat tanks a lot easier probably a bit too toxic on a high safe so maybe the damage could be nerfed a little bit but it's just an idea i think this one is a pretty cool one but i'm not really seeing many like um barley ideas coming out for the community because he's kind of forgotten about so hopefully again we start seeing some more ideas throw out and uh, thrown out and then the last one again i didn't really see many frank hypercharge uh things only this one that we've already covered on the channel before uh where where it's actually a pretty decent one so endless drop when frank is using his super he would be immune to damage and negative effects and i think this is like the perfect one for frank i mean you don't really get to see an animation or how it would work there could be some other things with frank i mean a cool a cool hyper i don't know i just I actually think that's the perfect one i think just making it so he isn't like, it's, it's, it's kind of an infinite beat, so super cannot be interrupted whatsoever. That would literally be a cool one as well. But there's a lot of ideas flowing around the community. This is an exciting time because we're starting to get to this point in time where I was kind of getting a little bit bored of Brawl Stars. So some hypercharge theories. Maybe they're actually introducing more hypercharges than six. That could be a good theory as well because I was discussing that. Like, with how many brawlers are coming out, it's going to take forever for every brawler to get a hypercharge. So maybe they can increase it to like 10 hypercharges per update. That would be pretty nice. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.